so now that we know how to interpret the long listing that this is the user this is the group and these are the permissions um, let's look at how to change the user in the group so as the root user you can change the user in the group to anything you want so um, the only thing is the user in the group have to exist so we have a, another user on the system called demo um, and chown or change owner is the command to change the owner of a particular file. So I can change the owner of demo to file one.txt. That doesn't change the group. There's another command to change the group, and that is to group or change group. So we see that these operate independently. We have a shortcut. Um, so let's say we want to change the owner of nope to Amir. Currently, the file called nope is owned by root. That changed it to Amir. And we use the shorthand of chown to specify the user and the group. We have another even shorter cut. Let's say we want to change readme to demo. We can say demo dot. And just by putting a dot after there, it assumes that we want to change the group to the same as the owner. Now, when we want to change the permissions of a directory, a directory is just a regular file. It does not refer to all of the files that are contained in there. So we can say chown demo dear one and that will change the ownership change the owner to demo the contents of dear one however are not changed so inside of here we still have files that are owned by Amir if we wanted to do that recursively we do that with capital R now all of the files are recursively changed to Amir we could uh, to demo. We could do um, our shortcut with the dot, and um, that will change the group as well. Um, same thing with to group. We can do that recursively um, with uh, capital R. So that's changing the user and the group um, the files. Next, we'll look at changing the permissions.